In this video I'm gonna show you how you can wirelessly monitor battery in your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, lawnmower, antique or exotic vehicle and in the end I'm gonna give away one of these tools that we're gonna talk about. Hi guys my name is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel where I share my experience with fixing cars and if you are into this sort of stuff be sure to subscribe and you'll learn how to fix your own cars, save money, live better and feel good about yourself. So as you know, I often like to work on my own cars. And for that reason, I like to have an extra car as a backup in case the repairs takes longer than expected or if my main car just broke down unexpectedly. Right now, I keep my 2007 Altima as a backup and I generally don't drive it very often, maybe only once or twice a month. And sometimes if I don't drive it for longer periods of time, the car battery doesn't get recharged and it eventually dies. Not only this is bad for the health of the battery, it also usually happens at the worst possible time when you're running late somewhere and your backup car is not starting and then you need to get out the charger and the cables or jump start your car and it takes a lot of time to get the car going. And to make sure this never happens, I started using this little Bluetooth device that allows you to monitor the status of your battery using a smartphone app and it will also send you notifications if your battery charge is getting critically low. This device is connected to and getting powered directly from the car battery and it's communicating with the smartphone app via Bluetooth 4.0 wireless connection. This is Ancel BM300 Bluetooth battery monitor and tester. So let's go ahead, unbox and review this tool. And a little later, I'm going to tell you how you can get a chance to win this tool for free. The tool comes in this nice little black cardboard box with cool designs and some of the technical specs listed on the outside. And there's also this QR barcode where you can download the app for this tool from Google Play or App Store. Inside the box, we're gonna find the battery monitor itself and the owner's manual. The owner's manual is nice. It's printed on high quality glossy paper. It has a bunch of colorful pictures and it's very simple, quick and straight to the point. The very first thing that you notice right away is how surprisingly small this tool is. When I was buying it and looking at the pictures on Amazon, I thought it's going to be a lot bigger than this. But that's actually not a bad thing at all. I think the less space it takes under the hood, the better. Here's a size comparison to give you an idea how small it is. The quality of this tool is fine. I have no problems here. And it's made in China and overall design is actually looking pretty nice too. The housing of this tool feels pretty solid, well-built and durable. And the owner's manual actually claims that it's made of some fireproof materials suitable for high temperatures. I also like that the cables are short. They just have enough length to reach the battery terminals because I definitely don't want any extra cables dangling around under the hood. The cables are also pretty sturdy. They are made from some sort of rigid plastic and you can actually bend them into any shape you want. As far as the price, I picked up this tool for $39 on Amazon, but like with many tech gadgets, the prices tend to go down over time. And if you're interested, you can check out the current prices at the link I'm going to provide below in the description area. So now let's go ahead and test this tool and see how it works. And for that, we're going to need to connect it to the car battery and then download the app for a smartphone or a tablet. Installing the battery monitor is very simple. All you got to do is loosen the bolt for one of the battery terminals and then find a good spot to insert the wire clip and then tighten the bolt. Next, do the same thing for the other side. And finally, I also like to secure the battery monitor to the battery handle. This way it's gonna stay in place and not bounce around when you drive your car. Here's my final setup. I think it looks pretty neat and clean. To download the Encel battery monitor app, you can scan the QR code on the packaging or simply search for the app by its name. It's supported on both Android and Apple operating systems. You can also download and use it on your tablet if you want. 
When you open the app for the first time, you're going to be asked to allow access to your location and to enable notifications. Both of these features are required if you would like to receive automatic notifications, otherwise they will not work. If you open the app when you're 10 feet away from your car, it's going to automatically search for and connect to the battery monitor, and then it's going to synchronize all of the data that has been recorded since you connected the monitor to your car battery. The very first things that you got to see are the battery charge status as a percentage as well as the battery voltage. In my case, I am currently at 60%, which is getting low and it's time to recharge the battery. And the current voltage is 12.37 volts. You can also see the historical data about your car battery by tapping on this magnifying glass icon with a plus sign. Here we can see the chart for my car battery. I fully charged it two weeks ago and then connected the battery monitor to start monitoring it. This information can be helpful to track how quickly your battery is discharging or what specific events or conditions make it drain faster. I was also concerned if this tool uses too much energy and drains the battery faster than normal. But after using it for two weeks now, I didn't really see any noticeable difference. Next I'm going to check out the cranking test feature on the bottom of the screen. Right now I don't have any cranking voltage information because I haven't ran the test on my car yet. Also if you tap on the question mark icon in the upper right corner you can get the information on how to interpret the test results. This could be very helpful when troubleshooting issues with your starter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my car and run the cranking test. Anything north of 9.7 volts should indicate the good battery condition. And everything looks good, as you can see I've got a green check mark here. Now let's move on to the next feature and tap on the charging test icon on the bottom of the screen. For this test the engine needs to be running and I need to turn off all of the devices using power except for the headlights. Next I need to tap on the start testing button. Next I needed to raise RPM to 2500 mark and hold it there for 5 seconds. And my charging test results are looking good as well. And once again, if we tap on the question mark, we can learn how to interpret charging system test results. This information could be very helpful when troubleshooting issues with your alternator. And the very last feature on the bottom of the screen is trip information. Not exactly sure what this can be used for, but nevertheless, it's there if you ever need it. Now let's go back to the main screen and tap on the gear icon to check out some other settings for this app. Here you can turn on daily notifications about battery charge status and alerts about abnormal cranking. You can choose how often you want to receive those notifications and it can be anywhere from 1 to 24 hours, which in my opinion is a little bit too excessive. I don't think it's necessary to be notified multiple times a day about the battery charge status. But instead I would rather want to receive notifications once every several days or once a week or maybe even once a month because this would be more practical for the cars that are not driven very often. But for now I'll just set it to send notifications every 24 hours. And the way these notifications work is whenever you're within 10 feet radius from the Bluetooth monitor, you will receive a pop-up on your phone, usually once a day or however often you set them to be displayed. You can also turn on power alarm that will notify you when the battery is at 50% level and then when it's at critically low 20% mark. Next option allows you to rename the Bluetooth monitor device that you're connected to because by default they're all using their MAC address as the name and you can instead use something more descriptive. This could be helpful when you are monitoring multiple cars and you will know exactly which car needs to be recharged. Next you have a little tutorial how to connect your Bluetooth monitor to the car battery. Also right from this app you have ability to check for and install the latest and greatest firmware updates for your device. And the last item on this list is the feedback option. Here you can ask questions about any issues that you may run into while using this app. I actually tried it and I submitted a random question and sure enough within a few days I've got a reply from them in my inbox. So there's definitely somebody alive on the other end checking this feedback and answering the questions. Which was kind of surprising, honestly. And now comes the fun part for all of those who stay till the very end of this video. I'm gonna give away one of these wireless battery monitors and to get a chance to win it all you gotta do is leave a comment below.
and I'm gonna randomly pick the winner as soon as this video gets first 100 likes or first 100 comments, whichever comes first. You can just leave any non-offensive comment or tell me what vehicle would you like to use this monitor for. I'm curious to know. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notifications when I'm gonna be announcing the winner and when I'm gonna be doing my future upcoming giveaways. Also, please read and comply with all of the rules for this giveaway in the description area below to be able to receive the prize. All right, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Good luck with the giveaway and I'll see you in the next one.